what's it today? I don't even know what day it is. It don't matter. Anyway, um, today I'm going to tell you about the scanner. This is a Snap-on scanner. This one I bought about eight, nine years ago for about 400 bucks. Now, you can buy them anywhere, O'Reilly's, Harbor Freight, anywhere. They're cheap. Like, they're, you, i seen them up to $39. Now, I don't care who it is. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to use one. Anybody can use it. Because all you do is you plug it into the bottom on the UBO, the OB2 sensor, and then you turn the... I don't want to start it. There. I'll turn the... The uh, key on, and it'll light up, right? And it's saying, get, get, oh, I guess it's very turned on. Okay, there we go. We turned it on. And it'll come up, and it'll say it's talking to each other, establishing point, retrieving trouble codes. Now it's got a trouble code in it, a P013. Now you can take that and Google it and do whatever you want with it, and it'll tell you exactly what to do. And if you don't know, then you go in and say, hey, badge, I got a, P113, and of course me, being the way I am, I said, what the hell's up? And you'll say it's an intake air temperature. So, we'll take a look at it. That's what we'll do. But now what you do is you got the code there. So that on this code, there everyone's different, but it'll say, it'll give you a menu and it'll say clear codes and whatever. So this one here, you push no, and it comes back with an arrow, right? So I want to go back right? Or I can go arrow it to the C of the cross on the engine, and then I'll push yes. And what that'll do is see it'll come up. The service will clear all the mission related on your DTs, freeze frame and all that stuff, right? You don't care about that. You're not worrying about that. You want to clear the code. So you want to clear codes, you press yes. And then you go KOE or KOR. KOE is key on engine off or key on engine on running. So it'll tell you what to do. It'll say clear emissions related data, push yes. So you push yes and it'll come up. Data cleared successfully. Press no to remove, to exit, right? So what we'll do is we'll press that code and then we'll clear the codes. And then what you do is you just start it up. And then you just check it. Now you go back to no. This one you gotta go back. The newer ones are way faster. This is an older one. So then you go and you got readiness monitors, current data, extended data, freeze frame, confirm codes or clear codes. So we wanna confirm codes. Okay, you push yes. No codes. Okay, that's very important, remember that. Now I had a code in it and now there's no codes because what I did was I unplugged the sensor so I had to put that code in there just so that I would have a code. Now it says no codes. Now if your vehicle, you put the scanner on it and it says no codes and it doesn't run right, it's one of two things. Either fuel or air or spark plugs or something like that. Because most scanners won't tell you spark plugs. Scanners won't tell you spark plugs. Anything mechanical, it won't tell you. Like a fuel filter, an air cleaner, um, spark plugs, stuff like that. Or a spark plug wire, it won't tell you. So if you put a scanner on a car and you check for codes and it comes up no codes, then you know you go at a mechanical issue. Don't worry about changing the cam sensor and all that garbage because it ain't going to do no good because it says it has no codes. And if the cam sensor was faulty, it would put a code or any sensor. So if it comes up no codes, it's a mechanical problem. Gasoline, air, air cleaner, spark plug, spark plug wires, something like that. Or it might even be the power wire. It's something that's not electronic. That's the key point. And then, like you say, half the battle, you go in there and a guy says, okay, what's the matter? Oh, my engine soon lights on. Well, you know, you're going to go for, you know, they're going to put a hundred bucks in it because they got to scan it. So if you go and scan it and say, no, it's the O2 sensor or DGR is uh, voltage is too high. They know when you say something like that, that you know what you're talking about because 
Who would come in and say, the jar's high? I'm just saying. Okay, so that's what you do. You get it cleared. Now, I say everybody should have one of these. A lot of shops won't like that, but eh, I didn't ask for permission anyway. If This will save you a ton of money. You don't even know how many people money I save for people by this scanner. I put this on everybody's. They say they got their light on. I pull it out and put it on. One guy I know had an EGR problem and it's a Chevy, so every time it would slow down, it would trigger an EGR. It's not a big thing. It's common. So I just kept clearing it. Every six months, we go for breakfast, and I'd clear it. It's not a big deal. That's why you clear it, try it, and see if it goes away. If it comes right back, yes, you have a problem. If it doesn't, then you have to duplicate it or try to get it to do it. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. Anyway, that's the scanners. If you want to know anything more about it, send me an email. I'll try to clear it up for you, but just remember, if you got a, if you're an RV or a Nomad or something like that, you d just get a scanner. It'll save you a ton of money. Even if you got a bus, you got an electronic bus or a Ford six liter, they're almost mandatory. Like every Ford should come with one, but that's my opinion. But um, you just get one. They're like thirty bucks, forty bucks, fifty bucks. You can pay. I bought one that was five thousand, but I don't have that anymore. But um, yeah. That's all I got on this one. Later.